to every creature. Evangelist David Bybee has been called and anointed by God to fulfill the scripture. Now, let's join Evangelist David Bybee in the worship service at the Crossroads Community Church, Carthage, North Carolina. Bless everybody. Those joining by television, we welcome you to Crossroads Community Church this morning. We're a full gospel Bible-believing Church, we believe it from Genesis to Revelation, praise God. We, we're non-denominational, uh, and so if you're looking for a, a Baptist church to come to, please come. If you're looking for a Pentecostal, please come. If you're looking to hear the truth, please come. We invite you to come to Crossroads because if it's in the Bible, we try to preach, teach, and live it as close as we can. We fail God every day, but aren't we glad that He's a just and able God to forgive us? That, Jesus Christ paid the price, and I thank God for that. But anyway, we, we welcome you right now. We want each one of you to, that are joining by television to get your Bibles out. Wipe the dust off of it, and let's have church together. Put your hands together in here. Wake, make welcome Sister Linda Whitaker. She sings for the glory of the Lord. started a journey down a long dusty road and if your heart's been searching for a place to call Led you to grieve. Well, my friend, be encouraged by these words that I speak, and be not ye weary while on this journey. Words of mine. 
Praise the name of the Lord. Glory. Hallelujah. Many joining by television and some in here. Now, we've had church already in here this morning. The altar was full a while ago of people just rededicating, getting saved, and getting their blessings from God. And God gave me this verse, and then that song just, it's about this verse in the Bible. Many joining by television, you've got some dark clouds hanging over you right now. And the sad part is there's many joining by television, possibly in here. You've placed your trust in the government. The government's let you down. You've placed your trust in man, and man has failed you. Some of you are standing under dark clouds right now, not knowing which way to go. But you've got to look to the Master because He is in control. Jesus Christ is in control. When you sell out to Him and give it all to Him, you don't have to worry about it. You don't have to take that burden with you. Just lay it at His feet and He will take care of it. In Galatians tra- chapter 6, Galatians chapter 6, verse 7 is where we want to begin reading or where I want to begin this morning. It says, Be not deceived. God is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. Do you understand what the Word of God is saying? For he that soweth to his flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption. But he that soweth to the Spirit shall of the Spirit reap life everlasting. Let us not, and let us not be weary in well-doing. Let us not be weary in well-doing. When you're doing that which is good, don't be slack about it. Let us not be weary in well-doing, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. In due season, God's going to reward us as long as we keep going. As long as we don't slow down. As we have therefore opportunity, let us do good unto all men, especially unto them who are of the household of faith. To those that are of the household of faith, to those Christian brothers and sisters, make sure that we have an outreached hand to do good unto each one of them. The Bible teaches us to love your enemies, to love our enemies. We have to understand who our enemies are, and we have to understand that God has never commissioned any of his children to love the devil. The devil is my number one enemy. Satan is my enemy, and I'm not to love him. But I am to love.